The Divi 250 emergency water system can be assembled with no tools in less than 30 minutes and can begin dispensing in only 90 minutes. Its versatile design requires no electricity, generators, or fuel to operate. The Divi system has three parts, the filling pump, the water containment unit, and the distribution pump. These are stored and shipped in three separate bags, totaling less than 200 pounds. The first step in assembling the Divi is to choose a suitable location. You need a source of fresh water deep enough to fully submerge the strainer and a safe location for the containment unit. When the unit is full, it will be extremely heavy, weighing 2,000 pounds, so it must be on a flat surface free of sharp objects that could puncture and within reach of the water source. The calcium hypochlorite treatment takes 60 minutes, so when you need clean water quickly, it's important to start this chemical treatment as soon as possible. So while we're assembling, don't waste time setting up the distribution pump until you have a full tank and you've added the chemical treatment. Let's start with the filling pump. Remove the filling pump from its bag and hand tighten the threaded knobs to the steel pump stand. Slip the pump handle into the top of the pump, Attach the rigid suction hose to the strainer and fully submerge the strainer in your water source. Attach the other end of the rigid suction hose to the inlet side of the filling pump. Note that there are arrows on the filling pump that show the direction of flow. Attach the lay-flat fill hose to the outlet of the filling pump and we're ready to start assembling the water containment unit. Once you've chosen a flat location and cleared the ground of sharp objects that could puncture the unit, Slide the corrugated inserts into the soft-walled water containment unit and secure them with the Velcro tabs on top. Unfold the liner bag and align the two ports with the front of the containment unit. Find the Velcro dots on the bottom of the liner bag and attach them to the Velcro pads in the bottom corners. Pull the two ports of the liner bag through the holes in the unit and secure them by sliding the locking plates down over each port. Wrap a little Teflon tape around the threads of the inlet and outlet valves to ensure a good seal, and then twist them on to the ports. Unroll the lay-flat hose from the filling pump, which we've already assembled, and attach it to the inlet of the containment tank. Check that the incoming valve is open and the outgoing valve is closed. Here's a quick review from end to end so far. The strainer is fully submerged in fresh water. The rigid suction hose leads from the strainer to the inlet of the filling pump. The lay-flat hose exits the filling pump and arrives at the containment unit where the valve is open to let the water in. Now we're ready to gently push the filling handle from side to side to start filling the containment unit. It should take about 30 minutes to fill. While the tank is filling, it's time to assemble the pod system. Assemble the steel frame by attaching the rear support leg to the U-shaped leg. Secure this with two of the locking pins. Next, attach the steel hoop to the U-shaped leg. Secure this with the remaining two locking pins. Lower the filter housing into the three notches on the steel frame and open the housing to check that the filter is present and in good condition. Attach the pump to the leg of the steel frame using the threaded knobs and then attach the pump fitting to the filter housing. Twist the four distribution hoses onto the four port brass outlet and then one hose nozzle onto each of the four hoses. Attach the brass outlet to the bottom of the filter housing. And finally, attach the rigid transfer hose to both the water containment unit that's now filling and the distribution pump. It's that easy, and in under 90 minutes, you'll be serving fresh, clean drinking water out of the four distribution nozzles. The Divi is made in the USA by Aquamira Technologies of Logan, Utah.